Welcome to another Educause Community Conversation. Today we're talking about analytics and data, and I'm joined by two leaders of the Foothill Danza Community College District, Chancellor Judy Minor and CIO Joe Moreau, who's also a former Educause board member. Welcome, Judy. Welcome, Joe. I wanted to start with a with a goofy recollection. So I remember back in 2012, there was an interview in Educause Review, and it was about analytics, and the title was No More Excuses. And, and it makes me think every institution has to make a reach a point where they decide that the imperative to do analytics becomes bigger than the hesitations and the doubts and the questions. When did you reach that point at, at Foothill Danza? I would say that we really began uh, a deep dive into analytics probably after the Great Recession in 2009. It forced us because of the drops in enrollments and just a number of other demographic changes in Silicon Valley for us to begin thinking about our place in the larger social context. Nationally, community colleges are under a certain amount of stress these days. Financially, everyone is. Uh, in terms of enrollments, community colleges are feeling that strain uh, more than ever. How do you make the case for investing in analytics and data at a time when resources are at a low? When I think about making a case for data analytics and sort of the cost that's there, I'd like to start by saying, if we agree as a community on our institutional values and goals, then data and participatory governance are essential elements in achieving those goals. So evidence-based strategies will certainly be compelling, but highly inclusive dialogue and even debate um, will create more commitment to and ownership of the work to be done at the operational level. The, the biggest investment that we need to be prepared to make is time. Uh, I think that what in, for most institutions, we have gobs of data. We have the tools to visualize that data, to report on that data. But developing a culture of, of data ingestion, if you will, by all of those governance groups and planning groups and management groups, uh, and really making the time to understand what the data says, to challenge it if we don't agree, and but to be prepared to be surprised. We published a, a statement along with Nakubo and uh, the Association for Institutional Research and it's changewithanalytics.com. And in it, we said that if you're going to do analytics, those initiatives should be driven by specific outcomes, the specific results you want. I'm curious, what, what were your top three or top two or top outcomes that you were hoping to change with analytics? The goals that we have at Foothill De Anza are really about student access and success. So I, I would put um, maybe at, at the top of the list, our dual mission of transfer and employability as a function of our transfer preparation and our career technical education programs. Those, those are equally important to us. And they're not necessarily mutually exclusive, even though some people might view it um, that way. Certainly um, having an increase in the diversity of the students who go into various areas um, where we have had an underrepresentation. Um, whether it's around ethnicity or gender or ability or um, gender, ident gender identity, um, that's really important to us that, that we prepare um, the most diverse population of students um, for the world that they are entering as, as workers. Um, and I would say in the, the third area that I would want to look at, um, is that cultural shift for the institution? I think it's really important um, having picked up on um, something that Joe has said about being surprised by data. I really like that approach that we may discover things that we didn't know about the way we're operating. And so to be very open to say the data need to inform ways that we would change 
and not just looking for the support for opinions uh, that we've held or practices that we've had in the institution in a very traditional way.